Remarkable Women, sponsored by Palomar Health. It is Women's History Month, and all month long, we are honoring some of the remarkable women of San Diego, and that includes finalist Lindsay Reese. I come from a family where no one had gone to college. Um, I didn't know how to navigate the whole college system. I went through community college and then through university, and I really saw a part of myself and the students I was serving. And because of her family story, Lindsay Reese wanted to grow up and become a college professor to help teach and inspire others to reach their educational goals. Fast forward several years and Lindsay is now the superintendent of Learn for Life High Schools in San Diego, a charter school. She has been a part of touching the lives of more than 40,000 students in San Diego since 2009. These students have been through so much and un sometimes unfortunately they get labeled as, you know, um, difficult. And rather than just giving up on them, Lindsay sees this as an opportunity to come in and help. What we do is almost like an ICU unit. We provide intensive care to students that need those special wraparound services. It's personalized, it's customized, and to see a student that comes in, and we see many, and they're, they're just not good. They're not happy, they're not content, they don't know where they're going in their life, they don't know what their goals are, they're defeated, and to turn around and graduation is the bright spot. Graduation is so exciting. Um, you see this child that came in maybe one way and is leaving with confidence and a purpose. They leave with the tools they need to build a life for themselves and their families, most of them being the first in their family to do so. We wanna be the trampoline under the crack that bounces them back up and gets them out of the crack. Nothing more rewarding for her than to watch them on their graduation day. <laughs> Surrounded by their family and friends, holding their heads high, and proud they did it. When kids are successful, the whole entire community is successful. So anything that I could do in advocacy work or legislative work to help making schools like this an option for students um, is really where my heart and my passion is. Well, Lindsay mm -hmm. joins me in studio now. First of all, well, congratulations on being one of the finalists for Thank San Diego's you. Remarkable I'm Women. I'm so honored. Oh, so I know that was the first time you've mm -hmm. seen that made you a little emotional. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I saw the pictures in the background mm -hmm. of all your graduates and to see all the blue caps and gowns, that's a lot of lives that have been changed. How does that feel like? I feel incredibly honored to do the work that I do. When I started out in my career, I thought I was gonna be a college professor. I really never thought that I would be involved with high school students and to make a difference in their lives at such a critical moment when frankly, many of our students they're at a cross in the road and they could go one direction or the other. And we have amazing teachers and leaders who help get them on the right track where they're successful. They're proud of themselves, they have confidence, mm -hmm. they have skills that they can identify and they're able to go out into the world and be successful contributing members. Mm -hmm. And like you said, it's because people like yourself and your teachers and your team decided not to give up. We do not give up on mm -hmm. our students, we always say, they're gonna have to leave, we're never letting them go. We're never giving up on them. We will exhaust every resource, every community partnership that we have, every ounce of energy that we have to help them be successful in our program. Mm -hmm. We're committed through and through, and we just need them to show up. That's what we tell them, just show up, we'll do the rest. Mm -hmm. Come to the school. For many of our students, they'll tell you the only um, loving experience or relationship they have oftentimes is that adult at our school who's caring wow. for them, asking how they're doing. Many of our kids are struggling with tons of barriers like homelessness, mental health issues, fractured families, and we're just thankful to be the ones that are able to provide some extra love and encouragement and stability. Well, here's the thing, because you're the superintendent of Learn, Learn for Life, but you take a look at a career and you, and you put that beside passion because it's somewhere in the middle because for you as you're talking, I can tell this is not just a career. No. This is something that you absolutely love to. This is your calling. This is 100% my calling. My husband um, often says that I'm so lucky to have something that I'm so passionate about that yeah. I get to call my career. Um, I, I live for this. I live for the work that we do and the students that we help. I really do feel like in many cases we're saving lives with the work that we do and I'm incredibly passionate about our students and our staff. Our staff, this is hard work. Our kiddos have been through a lot and it takes a really special person to wanna work with our students, to persist, to see through maybe some of the behaviors that aren't as productive and really look through that student and pull out the best in them. 
Um, we've had parents, one of the proudest things I'll say is we have parents that say in our program, after their student's been with us for years, and they say, what did you do to my child? And we're like, what do you mean? They're like, they're, they're thankful, they're appreciative, oh. they're working hard, they have a purpose. Yeah. And to know that we've made that difference for them, yeah. I think the biggest thing is, I think we give a lot of families and students hope. I think they've struggled in a traditional setting for whatever reason, and our mm -hmm. program gives them some hope that they can go to college or they can yes. enter the next career that maybe they're looking for. Hopefully they'll find a passion like mine one yes. day. And we'll always be there for them even after they graduate to lend a helping hand, to fill out a college application or a Look job application with mm -hmm. them. We're truly there as a support even after they've left our program. Well, I, I, I know that we're coming to an end on our, uh, our little talk here, but I do have to ask before I let you yes. go. You were named one of the finalists. How does that feel? Because something that I have <laughs> sensed in just talking to you and all the, the other women that I've talked to, there is a sense of humbleness. There's a humility. Yes. There's nothing very like, oh, of course, like I'm supposed to be this remarkable woman. And I think that's probably the, the best thing about you all. I'd be lying if I said it's not a little embarrassing. I don't feel like I'm a remarkable woman. I feel like I have a remarkable team that I get to support. Yeah. We have remarkable children that we get to serve. I'm just incredibly blessed to do the work that I'm doing, and I am I'm incredibly humbled by this nomination oh. and thankful. Oh my goodness. Well, I, you were very deserving, I will say that much. And I know that the thank kids you. would say the same. So thank you so much, Lindsay, for thank being you here so this much. morning.